Hey there, Taurus! Welcome to your monthly reading for the rest of April 2019. Uh, this month, if you want to catch me live, I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you will catch me live. But, Taurus, uh, let's see what we have going on for you this month. Uh, definitely a lot of work is what I'd say, so I feel like there's a lot of work that you are doing, or could be doing as well. But uh, yeah, you start off with the Eight of Diamonds. This says, I mean, your month is pretty much limitless is what I'd say here. So, um, you know, I feel like you could get a lot accomplished in the rest of this month, and, and you could be very successful. This could be in business, work, um, you know, your job, pretty much anything. But I feel like there's a lot of opportunity here for you to be very successful. I feel like there's a lot of opportunity for you to get a lot of things done uh, this month. And with this Eight of Diamonds, it's like a card of work and just hard work. Seven of Diamonds just says that it could be your limiting beliefs, fears, worries, you know, all that other stuff that you know comes up that could cause problems. So definitely make sure to let go of that energy. Definitely make sure to let go of anything that is like limiting, any limiting beliefs, anything like that. Because again, that's probably the only thing that will hold you back with this Seven of Diamonds. But definitely a lot of work that could be done. Uh, next you have the Nine of Hearts, so a wish, and the Six of Hearts. Yeah, I like this. There could be wishes coming in for you at this time. Six of Hearts, I mean, could this could simply be that you want to, uh, what else do we have here? Yeah, this could just simply be that you want to remove some sort of limiting situation from your life or some sort of limiting circumstance. So if there are things that are holding you back or if there are things that are preventing you from being successful, like, again, this could be a wish to remove blockages or it could be a wish that says you want to remove, you know, li limiting circumstances from your life. Now, this could also be love as well. This would be love from a distance. So, um, you know, if you're in a long distance relationship or anything like that, this could be you moving or you could be traveling to be with somebody from a distance. It's a little bit confusing because this could also say that there is love coming in from a distance. This does not mean a long distance relationship. It could say that maybe somebody is moving to your town, get, you know, gets hired at your job, you meet them, or it could be, you know, somebody moves to your town, you're on Tinder, something like that, and you meet them through that. But, um, you know, it can say that love is coming in from far away, but, you know, could be coming closer to you. So that could be good as well. It could also say that you have wishes, goals, dreams, all sorts of stuff, even with this combination here. And you could feel like these things are very far away. Again, you could feel like these things are out of reach, but it does say things are starting to move closer to you. So it can just be, a, you know, two cards that just represent general improvements. For some of you, I feel like there was a breakup here, just looking at these cards. I feel like that you two were probably star-crossed lovers. Six of Hearts is a card of star-crossed lovers. It's like, you know, two people who want to be together but can't for whatever reason. So some of you could be dealing with a situation like that as well. Uh, next, you have the two of, swords, two of Spades and the Eight of Clubs. Yeah, so some of you could be confused about a breakup here, is what these cards say. So I'd say if you went through a breakup, it could just be, you know, it could be, uh, you know, like the universe that you're just not meant to be together. It could be anything, but there could be a lot of confusion surrounding a breakup with these two cards if you recently went through a breakup. Eight of Clubs just says that maybe you two communicated on a different level, or maybe you, um, you know, kind of your communications were just kind of not right in some way. It could also just say that there was a lot of confusion on both sides. Maybe both sides were not clear about what they wanted or were not clear about their expectations in the relationship. And that could be why there's this like, you know, confusing type of energy between these two cards here. Uh, for others, if you're not dealing with that, if you're not dealing with what I just said, this could be health. Uh, Eight of Clubs can be a card of confusion with health. Um, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm looking at your chart here, Taurus. I guess I could see how, you know, this could be one of those situations where maybe you, you start a diet and you're not seeing results, or you start exercising and you're not seeing results. But this is kind of like just saying push through it. So I'd say if you're starting anything new health-wise and you're not seeing results this week, I would keep moving forward because I feel like there's just... Um, in this chart here, there could just be a general lack of results. There could be, you know, it could be one of those things where we just don't see results for whatever reason. But this kind of just says keep moving forward. Don't quit the diet if you're one of those people who's on a diet. Uh, next, you have the Seven of Hearts and the Queen of Clubs. Yeah, I think it could definitely be attracting love into your life. This says like, you could be afraid if you're wanting love. This could say you are having fears and thinking, oh, love is not going to be coming into my life. But Queen of Clubs is a card of attraction. And so it does say that you are attracting love into your life at this time. But you just need to stay positive. This is a card of hopes and dreams. Um, Seven of Hearts is a card of like hoping for a family. Even if you don't want a family, it could be saying that you are hoping for a very deep commitment in a relationship or you're hoping for a deep commitment with a specific person. So again, those could be like some of your hopes that you are having at this time. Again, if you're not interested in love, 
This could be like hoping for a job that you could commit to or hoping for something more solid. Again, Taurus, you always get this message of like wanting a job or wanting a business that can provide for you for a very long period of time. So this could be you trying to build up one of those things or trying to create something along those lines in your life. Uh, next, you have the Two of Hearts and the Ten of Diamonds. Yeah, uh, I feel like there definitely could be love coming in for you. Ten of Diamonds is like a card of learning about love. I keep saying this. It's like we need to, we definitely need to learn about love and we also need to realize at, like at this time and probably for the next like billion years then you know if we want love we have to realize that it is work like you know love is work yeah maybe in a relationship everything up front is really good and great you know especially at the start of a relationship but then you know after a while we have to work to keep the romance alive we have to work to you know keep the relationship going and i feel that's what people need to realize is that relationships are our work you know they're never just going to be just easy in a way so this says like put the work in Two of Hearts says there's a perfect match out there for you. Or if you're waiting for love, you have a Jack as well showing up here. So there definitely could be love coming in very soon. Uh, Ten of Diamonds is just a great card for money. So again, if you're working or hoping for a job, this could represent a perfect match with a job that makes you a lot of money or makes you really happy or that brings in, you know, that kind of supports you in some way. For others, this could definitely be airplane tra travel. So I'd say if you're traveling uh, specifically by airplane, then there could be success. You know, this could be for business or maybe you're hoping to move as well. And this would represent present a lot of success coming in through uh, travel uh, by plane or moving or any of those types of things as well. I'd also say if you're trying to sell something with these two cards, if you're trying to sell a home or anything along those lines, anything expensive, uh, there could be a sale for you. Uh, next you have the Jack of Spades and the Ace of Hearts. Definitely love. So yeah, uh, Jack of Spades is just an admirer and the Ace of Hearts is love. It could be like a proposal, marriage, uh, pretty much anything like that. So I feel like some of you could be hearing about marriage or you could be hearing about a proposal here. This could also be, this could say that you are discovering that somebody is interested in you. Uh, this is like a card of discovery. It's a card of like being a detective and finding out that somebody's interested in you or finding out that there is love potential for you. And Ace of Hearts is your emotions overflowing. So you could be very happy about this. For others, Jack of Spades, you know, if you're not interested in love, Jack of Spades is a card of being a, a detective, and Ace of Hearts is like following your passions. So this comes up for you a lot in the daily readings, Taurus. I feel like a lot of you need to work on your passions, passion projects, or this just says you need to be more curious about the things that in life that you are interested in, because if you follow your interests here with these two cards, you could discover like turning a hobby into a business, or um, you know, just starting a business in general based off of some sort of curiosity, something that you're interested interested in and this all says that it could be very successful for you and finally you have the five hearts and the nine of diamonds i feel like there needs to be a change here taurus to your life just in general um i feel like there needs to be like either you need to change yourself or there needs to be like a change in job or a change in relationships um nine of diamonds is like a card that says you need to make a change <laughs> just like just what i said this card is called the coffin there's normally a coffin on this card right here and the coffin is always closed so it says you are inside the coffin but now is the time to like upgrade your life so i feel like a lot of you need to do that five hearts is just the birthing process you know it's hard to change it's hard for us to change as humans in general so it says you need to go through like a rebirth at this time this would be a rebirth but it's kind of like you know it's kind of like a forced rebirth and i don't think that's the right word but you know it's kind of like two cards that say you need to make yourself change or you need to upgrade your life in some way whether it's like changing your habits changing your routine changing your relationships your love relationship uh, your business your job pretty much anything but i feel like there needs to be an upgrade i'd say especially if things have been the same for a very long period of time you know this says that you need to make some sort of change but uh, all in all uh, i would say that this looks like a really really good month for you taurus so thank you for watching and enjoy your month